Hi, welcome to TV Lessons. I'm Ken Woodall. I'm going to be your host, and we're here on College Cooking. I'm here to show you how to cook on a budget. So today, we're going to start off with a really simple recipe, one that's really good, and I'm sure most of you are going to like. It's uh, steak and mashed potatoes. We're also going to throw in some vegetables and make it taste really good. What we have here is the top loin steak. And this steak is probably the best value for the type and quality of meat it is. This ran me about a buck fifty-two dollars for this giant steak. We're gonna boil some vegetables. Okay, I got some squash, I got broccoli for you guys, cauliflower, okay, and I got some carrots. Then we're gonna make our mashed potatoes. We have oil, milk, we have our butter, and we got some salt and pepper for the steak. We got a, two pots of water boiling now. All right, one of the pots is going to be for our serving size of, of potatoes. So we're just going to throw that in the water. By the way, these potatoes, a whole bag costs about $3. So about a potato, that will run you like 25 cents. Really cheap, really good, really filling. Okay, these vegetables, okay. I bought some broccoli, just serving size of squash, some carrots, and some cauliflower. It's probably run you about a dollar max. Okay, all together. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in our boiling water, and that's going to take probably four minutes, you know, give or take a minute or two. And you kind of just test it, um, eat it in whatever firmness you like it. Some people like it a little crunchier. Some people like your vegetables really soft. So here's our steak. I take some salt and some pepper, maybe a little salt rub. I'll just sprinkle it on and just rub it in just like this. I'm going to flip it over and do the same exact thing. Okay, we'll rub it around and rub it in. So what you want to do, you want to get your pan ready, put a little oil in there, okay? And then set your heat to high. The best way to cook steak now is to sear both ends to seal in that flavor, okay? Because you really want that, those juices to stay in there. If you flip it more than once, then all that juice is just going to come out. It's going to be a really dry steak. Let's see. All right, do you hear that? That means we're ready to go. So what we want to do, you know, you don't have to, I usually use my hand so I don't splash any of the oil. I'll just set it down in there and it'll sear the sides. You could hear it sizzle. Beautiful. Okay, you want to use tongs instead of a fork because the way beef works is if you push a fork in there, you know the juices are going to escape. So basically you just want to keep locking in that flavor. The way to test a steak is to touch it, all right, just like that. Now, there's a really simple test you can use, all right? It's like this. Touch your thumb to your pointer, and then feel your thumb muscle right there, okay? That's about a rare steak. Now, touch your thumb to your middle finger, and feel the firmness right there, okay? If that firmness matches the steak, that's about a medium rare. Then, you touch your thumb to your ring finger, very simple, and that's a medium steak. Your thumb to your pinky, and feel the firmness right there, that is a well-done steak. So I want to make medium rare, so I'm going to try and match it to that firmness right there. So we're going to let that sit for a while, and you just relax at this point. 